there is one bug that I see in DaVinci Resolve that frustrates more users, especially new users, than anything else. And it's this. Blech. Hi there, Patrick from the future here for a quick interlude. Okay, I am going to cut back to the video you were watching uh, where we're gonna walk through the real problem. You're gonna be able to open up, see the keyframes, see how this easing is broken on these current moves. And then we're gonna talk about different approaches to do it better. But um, after I posted this video the first time, there were some comments almost immediately with another approach that is just the best approach. That's how you learn things. You make a video and then all the comments come in being like, hey, here's this very obvious other thing and you say you're right and you, you remake the video. <laughs> I do think all the information in that video, especially you know walking through the problem as it exists is still super relevant. So stick around if you want the, to see this issue expanded on. But if you just wanna do this move in the edit page, in the inspector without issues, check this out. So like, I guess I will talk about in another second as well. Um, this issue comes from trying to keyframe your zoom and your position so that when you zoom in and change the position, if you ease those, both ease in and ease out, you get this really wobbly zoom effect. It's bad. But uh, myself and I know a lot of other people missed something that should have been obvious and that is the anchor point. I, I can't believe I missed this. Okay, so stuff like the zoom and the rotation, it has to have a specific coordinate to zoom into or rotate around. By default, yes, that is the center. And if you rotate, you rotate from the center. But if I change this anchor point, uh, pro tip, you can also toggle on this inspector control. You can see when I start to change that anchor point, it drags this separate controls. So this other dot is general position. This sort of thing over here is anchor point. And you can see it's tied to rotation. So if I wanted to zoom in just on this face here, I change the anchor point. And then if I only keyframe the zoom, it will zoom into that point instead. And then if I apply the easing onto those points, spoiler alert, as you'll see soon, the easing on position is what's broken. The easing on this zoom stays fine. So now we have nice eased zoom. And if I were to, uh, you know, from that zoom in point, uh, if I rotate it around as well, you can see we're rotating from that specific anchor point as well. So if you just want this smooth zoom to a specific point, you don't need to keyframe the zoom and the position, just shift the anchor point to tell it what point you want to zoom into. Doesn't that seem obvious to the people who know now? If you were just looking for an answer, here it is. If you want to learn more about what is going on here, um, as well as talking about a legitimate new feature in Resolve 19, stick around, that's all coming right now. This is a well-known issue in DaVinci Resolve. When you try to ease uh, movement and zoom keyframes on the edit page inside the inspector, it doesn't look the way it should. And I would love to say this issue was resolved in DaVinci Resolve 19. It wasn't, but um, we do at least have an easier workaround um, than we've had previously. But uh, previously, I would have told you, hey, hop into the Fusion page, try to learn the basics there for all your keyframe needs. And indeed, if you want to do anything more than this basic zoom, I think there's great reasons you should hop into the Fusion page. Also, if you just want to do this, pick up Magic Zoom by Mr. Alex Tech. But if you want to know more about what's going on here, we're going to talk about it. First, I'm going to actually explain um, where the issue is here because you can sort of dive in and see what should work differently. Um, and then I'm going to tell you um, kind of the workaround, kind of um, the currently better way to do this if you want, you know, a better, honest, eased zoom look. So let's do all that. So as you can see here, I've got keyframes on zoom and position. Um, and if I click uh, this little spline icon, you can see exactly where those are positioned. And uh, we're gonna see some interesting stuff. I'm gonna turn off everything visible here for now. So what I did when I set this up, I set keyframes at the beginning. Um, I set keyframes like a second or so in, and I right clicked in the inspector and set those to ease in and ease out respectively. Now, if I, in this v keyframe viewer, select the zoom controls, you can see those are properly eased. They have this nice little S curve on both zoom X and zoom Y, those look great. But when I hop to position X, uh, we have a straight line, a linear move, even though I told it to ease. And if I select these keyframes, 
you can see they have handles like they were uh, set to uh, ease in and even this ease in button is selected. And if I uncheck that back to linear, click that again, then at least on this position X, it will straighten those out. And I believe I can do the same thing with this first keyframe. Maybe it doesn't like it. Uh, I, this has been temperamental in my testing. If I right click, set that to ease out, hey, it'll ease that curve as well. But if I try to do that same fix on position Y, set it back to linear, set it to ease, it just adds that handle back, set it back to linear, right click, set to ease, it just adds the handle, it doesn't flatten it. So we have a few different things going on. Uh, number one, the easing on position Y, totally broken. You can manually do it on position X, but if you add that easing by right clicking on your keyframes in the inspector, um, it breaks both of them. It adds those handles, but doesn't actually flatten them to add the ease. Now those handles do exist. So if you were to like try to zoom in, you know, you could grab those handles and like try, try to flatten them out a little bit. Uh, there is no snapping here. So you are just eyeballing them and that isn't fun. If you can even, yeah, grab them. You don't want to dip down, but you can like try to, try to flatten them and then that move, you know, oh, it looks a little better. You can tell it's not perfect because it has a little deal there, but that is much better from where we were. But this is finicky. You can't get precise. But let me do something else. <laughs> if I copy this clip and I'm going to just reset that zoom, then what I can do in open effects is come and grab the open effects or I can just search for here, open effects. Transform, resolve FX transform, drop that on the clip and I can set those keyframes on position X and Y and zoom, come forward, zoom that in, change that position over here, change the position down here. And then on these, if I click ease out on each of these individually and ease in on each of them individually and just preview that move, we have a nice ease zoom. What we want on the normal controls, but right now can't get. And I opened up this viewer here and you can see where I previously selected this zoom and position controls. Um, now I have different options. I have another set of transform options down there. These are for at that clip level. The second set of transform is for the open effects transform. If I load up position X, you see that's eased correctly. If I jump to position Y, that's eased correctly. And zoom, that is eased correctly. Now, uh, one final issue that you might have caught here, which is important. My test footage here is this very large TIFF file of the Resolve UI. So on this first one, it is looking at it at full resolution. And when I zoom in, we are uh, not losing inf any information because the source uh, image has way more information than we need at 1080. So we have 1080, it's zoomed down. When we zoom back in, it's still nice and crisp. But when we use this open effects uh, version of it, I just realized this, unfortunately, it's applying that zoom after it's been scaled down, which means we're going to lose information. It looks nice when it's full screen, but as we zoom in, all this text starts to get blurry. And yeah, because, because we zoomed in from that 1080 crop, it's not looking as good. Now, if your original footage or image or whatever is 1080 and you're going to be zooming it in the same amount, uh, you won't lose any more information using this way over the normal inspector controls if your source media is at the same resolution as your uh, timeline is set to. A potential downside, you just sort of got to know the order of operations of these things where it is applying uh, this uh, OpenFX transform um, after your image has already been scaled down to fit your timeline. Now, I did say this depended on Resolve 19 because Resolve 19 is what finally let you add easing at all to open effects controls that you have keyframed. So before it did force these to be linear, uh, but now you can add that easing. So, hey, that quick zoom, you can do it in the inspector just on open effects. Now, yes, this should absolutely be fixed on these main controls. Um, I believe Blackmagic is aware of this. I've re-upped it where I can. <laughs> if more of you want to post about it on their forums or anywhere else, 
uh, feel free to do so. But I don't doubt their team, you know, is always uh, trying to prioritize different things to spend their limited energy on. Um, I just, like I said, know that this specifically frustrates a lot of new users. So I think uh, hopefully uh, uh, th this would be worth it to get wrapped up. But for those of you who are in the know and have watched this video, um, you at least have this other option if you want to do this specific move. Or like I said, grab Mr. Alex X Magic Zoom. I'm going to drop a link to that in the description. If I forget, remind me in the comments. Like I said, this is at the top of my list for long standing resolve bugs, something like this that clearly um, doesn't work versus like working different than you would like to. You know, tons of people have like small additional features they would love added, but this, you know, pretty much should work differently. <laughs> So I want to know, are there any other things like this that, you know, clearly should work one way, but don't? Uh, let me know about those in the comments as well. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to talk about this cool little thing uh, that was added. Um, that is now an easier alternative to a bug. Eh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.